Hi, my name is Emily Schuller, and I'm representing Project Enmit Walk. And today I want to tell you the story of this man here. His name is Andrew, and he lives in Brazil, more specifically in Recife. And actually, he's married, happily married, which is kind of difficult nowadays. And he has a six-year-old daughter. And what is also important about him is that he's 100% visually impaired. And you know, there is a truck that parks every week on his street, at his street home. And every week, he hurts himself in a different way. Because his blind stick feels that there is something there, but it doesn't know the height of it. So he goes directly into it and hits his head. Once he actually cut his forehead and had to have some stitches. We found that out when he started researching. Uh, yes in blind institutions, that was where we met Andrew, and we found out that the main issues for these people is mobility. So mobility isn't easy for a person who doesn't see. And we found out about it that, three points. First, the blind stick is very important to them. They don't want to lose the blind stick because it's a psychological way. They trust the blind stick. It wouldn't be very good to make a technology that would substitute the blind stick because the adaptation would be very difficult, but rather something that supports the blind stick. Second, it, as the problem is the upper body obstacles, as I told you the story about Andrew. And third, it has to be a device that is not very expensive, as the majority of visually impaired people have a low income in Brazil. So our solution was Project N with Walk. We used the knowledge of wearable computers in assistive technologies, and we developed smart glasses with upper body obstacle detection for visually impaired in support of the blind stick. The alert is given by vibration in wearable accessories like bracelets, pin, or necklaces. And everything goes together with an app that you can use with the glasses or without that is by voice control and is basically GPS for blind people. The data capture is used to make a database for route recommendations and also to map our city so that we can better our city and notify the responsible entity so that we can actually better our city. So our business is B2B, B2C, and B2G. So our aim is to propose a new experience of mobility for visually impaired people, and for that, we really need your help. So thank you very much.